When's the last time you have used tools like these to create works of art like these? In this segment, we're exploring the craft of ceramics. And with me to help you understand how these tools work to create works like this, hopefully better, is Ben Jensen, Executive Director of the Ceramic Center. Ben, welcome to Frame. Thanks for being Thanks. on the show and having us in the center here. What are we looking at? <laughs> uh, just the, the tools of the craft. Um, you know, nothing fancy really, just some stamps, cutting tools, a variety of ribs. And ribs are? Uh, ribs are uh, really, really old tools, um, originally made out of bone. Now we make them out of, you know, fiberglass, metal, and wood. Okay. But they're good uh, shaping and scraping and scraping tools for the surfaces. So, like, I can create this. I, I brought this in because it gave me a chuckle. I probably made this in the <laughs> second grade. I signed it, so I was kind of smart. Yeah, we'll see how this goes on yeah, eBay. It's a good but, uh, uh, thank you. You know, I'm proud of my grade school pieces, and I'm sure all of us have something like this in our, our collection. How about we start with the process? You, you take over. Where, where do we get, begin to? Okay, um, well, one of the projects we have for you today is to create a, uh, a vase using slabs. Okay. Um, so slabs are just uh, flat, rolled out flat sheets of clay. Okay. Um, it's a really nice building block. Okay. Um, something that's that's pretty simple and you can kind of learn a lot of the basics of, of how clay behaves. So basically what we're going to start off with is just by kind of leveling off the top to the bottom and uh, or if you want you can kind of, you know, artist choice, you know, you can kind of, you know, whatever you would like the top to be. If you want it angled, wavy, or just straight, you can kind of cut that oh, okay. and then we'll go from there. Let's go with some curves. Curves are good. You want to just kind of cut a, a fairly perpendicular line to that bottom. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm sure it'll be as straight Perfect. as a rule. So we're going to use this, just this cardboard tube with some newspaper wrapped around it okay. as our mold. I'm going to take this, roll up the edge, right. roll it over until this meets. Until the clay meets, yep. And then not go too deep, but just score it. Right, just it? make a little line there so we know about how All long it used down. to be. Yep, all the way top to bottom, perfect. So we're going to um, get this ready for joining. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of pinch this. So if you kind of wanna pinch that edge and then we'll kind of pinch this, basically okay. just kind of squeezing it a little bit to uh, thin it out. So on both sides? Yep, we're gonna pinch it on both sides. And we're gonna do a process called slipping and scoring. Okay. All right, so if you take a little of this water, and you can actually use clay slip, but the water will work all right for our purposes. Okay. And we're gonna use this uh, toothed rib. Okay. And we're going to score it. Right, we're going to make these scratch marks down through that slip. So oh, what we're doing so. is we're making uh, really gooey fingers of clay. So then when we press these together, they're going to kind of just squish in there. What I'll do for you is we'll just pull this up. So then you want to do that this same thing to this, this side to this edge. Yep. Being too gentle. Perfect. All this right. This is like what my mother made we'll me do. Now was a little girl. I, you know, you make this. Gonna stand that up, and we can pull that right out of there. And you can kind of start to see how, how your piece is taking shape. <gasps> On the, your uh, second grade pieces, I really oh, love the, oh, the yes. scenes, like especially oh, the, like the, the scene with the tulips. Yeah, I really oh, like that one a lot. Isn't that pretty? I'm sure so, you went to the Tulip Festival Paler or something like that. <laughs> okay, so this is where you version. would create the t your tulips. Yeah, yeah. So with your tulips, you know, it looked like okay. you, you might have used a tool like, like the needle tool uh -huh. um, to, to draw those. So you could draw those now. Okay, um, let's go for you it. Could, uh, I'll show you it's just some couple, okay, couple of the tools. Things. These are uh, clay stamps, so they're ma actually made out of clay, and they've been fired once. Okay. Um, so they're nice and porous. I'll show you on a piece of this clay. All right. So you can Let's see that. Press that in there, and then it leaves a nice relief pattern. And same with these. Yeah. Same with those. You can get really jazzy. Really jazzy. And then we have a number of these uh, best clay rollers that we made. And we, we made these. These are just, you know, so you can kind of roll that and just kind of make this continuous pattern, oh, which is really fun, too. That is fun. And now tulip time? Tulip time, I think tulip so. Tulip time. Okay. Oh, this is going to get good. Uh, let me use my point of inspiration <laughs> yeah. here. <laughs> I'm laughing, Ben. No, I love it. I think I like that piece. Thank you. So tell me, when did you get started in ceramics? Uh, much like you, you know, a few, few second grade, third grade, fourth grade pieces. Um, I'm not sure how many of those I still have. I'm sure my mom does and could pull those out of a box. 
but uh, I really got into clay a little more seriously in college. Actually, at uh, Kirkwood Community College. Oh yeah. Started there, um, and then got, ended up getting my BFA from the University of Iowa in ceramics, and then I just kind of kept going. And kept going. <laughs> yeah, um, it was just kind of a matter of half and set type circumstances. That, sure. You know, I just never stopped, and now now I've, I'm very fortunate to be able to uh, run a studio of, of this caliber. It is quite impressive. Want to talk a little bit about the studio and. Yeah, the work you do in the community because you do go in the classrooms and influence yeah. people like we were influenced. So, yeah. take it away. Okay, well the Ceramic Center, uh, we have classes, workshops, outreach um, for basically anybody who is interested in, in the ceramic arts um, or warm glass. Um, we have a great outreach program into the Cedar Rapids School District. Um, it's called our Whole School Raku program where We'll go in and, and four to 450 kids, as well as the staff, principal, lunch ladies, will all make a, a pot and then we'll fire all these pieces in like two days right in front of the kids. It's a really fantastic process where they get to see the pot heated up to 2000 degrees, pulled out, put into a barrel full of combustibles. Um, so it's a, a great observational science moment, history moment, art moment, all kind of combined into one learning experience. Here at the Ceramic Center, um, we have a lot of the same type of activities um, where you can kind of come and you can take a class right here. Um, like I'm doing right now. Like you're doing now, yeah. Just make something that makes your heart and make smile. something beautiful, yeah. And you take it home and, and your family all says, wow, how did you make that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Send a photo to my mom. Mom, look. Yeah. Put in your collection. Oh, I think it's pretty cool that my parents influenced me to keep pieces. Well, of course, they kept them, but... I think it's an important part of your journey to have these reference points in life and yeah. and how easy it is to learn. I think sometimes as you get older, it, this can be a little intimidating, the thought of trying something new and coming in here and like, what are these machines and, you know, how do I get right. from here to something like this? And how long has the Ceramic Center been here? We opened up in August of 2009. Okay. So, so yeah. two and a half years. Yes. And well received, and innovative programming like a CSA model for collecting ceramic art. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah, we have the and the artist in residency program. Yeah, which is one neat. of the great things about this place is we actually have the only artist in residency program for, for ceramics or, or glass in the state of Iowa. That's um, cool. I mean, the closest place would be like Minneapolis, Minnesota, or like big cities like Chicago. Sure. Um, so it's it's a pretty great program that we have and. So the nice thing is for people that are working here, they get to learn from, you know, some really fantastic emerging talent, you know, some, yeah. some people really coming onto the scene. And then for our residents, they get a lot of experience doing some new things, um, running a studio, doing the community outreach and, and, you know, some of the volunteer activities that they get to do as well. It's important to the give and get cycle of life. And, yes. and that's one thing about the show, Frame, is to bring to people's attention the innovation that is happening. Here yeah, community. it is amazing all of the arts going on in you know in the corridor. It's it's a very active area. It is. It's becoming more and more active. Okay. All it. right. Here's the debut, the tulip sequel, and some texture, some patterns, and mm -hmm. and of course we have to get the sunshine in there. I think let's just make it simple. And I had some. You had kind of some backgrounds. Wow. Yeah, you, you had a really nice perspective going on there. I guess. I love nature, so that that was clear. But I, I enjoyed that. So yeah. let's just put a little little of that action in the base. And then, so, okay, what's next, Ben? So next for this piece, um, you know, there's not a whole lot more we would do with it at this point. Okay. We would have to, we would put a bottom on it, so we can we can do that. Oh, yeah. Um, so that it, That's important. You know, it was. Uh, okay. We would then let it dry, okay. we would bisque fire it in one of our electric kilns, okay. and then we uh, would apply a glaze and, and your color then. Okay. And then we would fire it again, and then when it came back it would be nice and colorful and shiny and, and beautiful and ready for some, some tulips. Thanks so much for being You're on welcome. frame, and thank you for staying tuned as we showed you the craft and art of ceramics.
Frame is sponsored by Allegra, Ann and Bill Staymates, Click Marketing Solutions, Dialfolio Jewelry.